Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. So, we've got a six star crystal to open up, and we're about to find out how my alliance did in this last season. So, if you've been watching my war videos, you know that we are pushing to get into Platinum. Uh, we lost that last war and we didn't get all of our bosses down. How will that affect our ranking? Will it knock us out of Platinum? Let's find out. And as you can see, it did not. Uh, we ended up in Platinum 4, uh, rank 195. Now, we were just trying to get into Platinum, but we saw an option or an opportunity to get uh, Platinum 3. So we did a little extra pushing until we lost, I think, twice in a row, which put it out of reach. After that, we were allowed to place with suicides, and we basically uh, took a more relaxed approach for the last few wars because we saw that with like maybe one win, we should be good uh, in Platinum. We wouldn't be able to get to Platinum 3, and we shouldn't drop out uh, to gold either. All right? So we managed to get into Platinum. All right, so let's take a look at the season rewards. Uh, master rank, that's the big boy um, rewards there. Um, and they work for it, I'll tell you that. All right, so here are the Platinums. So it'd be great for us to get one and two and three. Uh, you can see the difference between Platinum three and four. The main difference is you get four of these instead of one. So you will uh, be working on a tier five class catalyst faster. Um, you get 5,000 more five star shards. You get double the six star shards. So basically platinum three and above, they're getting one new six star crystal every season, okay? And that can be pretty big when it comes to progression. You get the same T2 alphas, you get the uh, T5 basic. Uh, three, they get some extra tier five basic fragments. Okay, so not a huge difference at our level, but we would still love to get the platinum three rewards instead. All right, now before we uh, show you guys the rest of the rewards, all right, um, we don't want to be down anywhere down here. Okay. Um, now, let me show you guys my six-star roster. All right. So, the row at the top are all my rank two six-stars. Wasp doesn't need to be awakened. I would love to awaken my Corvus, my Omega Red, or my Ghost. Would love to get any of those. Uh, as far as new champions go, I would love to get a Captain Marvel movie. I would love to get a um, Warlock. Uh, I would love to get um, a Nick Fury. That would be awesome. Um, in fact, let me uh, show you guys just briefly here. And a Captain Marvel movie, Doom, Warlock. Those are like my top three. Nick Fury, I do want him, but... He needs to be awakened. So I already have the five star rank five. So I don't mind uh, this roster here. And um, I have uneven arena teams. So in this six star opening, I want to even out my arena teams. Okay, a new champion. If I can't get Doom, Captain Marvel movie, Warlock, I just want a new champion. If he's a good one, great. If I have to get a dupe, I'd rather get a Ghost, Omega Red, or Corvus. And if I can dupe my Omega Red, that would probably keep me from ranking up my 5-star if I ever get one. Uh, we'll have another opening where I'm going for Aegon, but Omega Red is a possibility from those crystals. I'll take a 5-star Omega Red right up to rank 5 and start working on maxing his SIG. And I'll use him over this six star. All right. Um, let's take a look at the rest of my roster here. And that's Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah. Love her. All right. And uh, 
Here we go. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. So guys, we had a little technical difficulty when we were making this video. I had to re-record the first half of this video because I hit the record button, or so I thought, and I recorded everything, including the crystal opening. And then when I went to look to see, you know, how long the recording uh, had been going, it was not recording at all. And I was already on the end screen. So what we're going to do is hide the champion that I got, give a little bit of suspense. Now, as I told you before, I wanted a new champion. Uh, if I couldn't get one of the three, you know, uh, Doom, Captain Marvel, um, or Warlock, I just wanted a new champion. I don't have even arena teams, and I wanted to even up my arena teams. So, without further ado, we got a new champion. And it was Mysterio. Very, very happy to get this Mysterio. Um, he wasn't on my most wanted, you know, so I wasn't jumping for joy or anything. But it was a new champion, and Mysterio is actually quite good. I like him. Uh, I wanted to rank up my five-star Mysterio. Now I don't have to. So maybe I'll put him on defense or something. I don't know. But that was a very good pull for me. So not only do I have even arena teams now, but I actually got a pretty decent champion uh, to boot. All right. So uh, we tried to salvage uh, the video the best we could. So you didn't get a chance to see the spinning, the reel, and all that in my initial reaction. But you did get to see uh, the opening results at least. Uh, so that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Uh, stay tuned. My next video is going to be uh, probably five tries for Aegon. Because with the rewards for the season, I already bought two of the mutant skill when it was around uh, the last time. I'm just waiting for it to come around again, and I'm gonna get another three when it does, and then we'll have an opening, and maybe we'll get an Aegon, maybe we'll get an Omega Red, because uh, I would love to get Omega Red. Maybe we'll get a Namor. Those are the three that I would love to get, and I'll take them up. All right, so that's gonna do it, guys. Click like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.